it was I was hanging out with my homeboy and the girl he was talking to X. Yeah. Mm. We might as well just get straight into the story. Okay. Hey y'all back with another video so for today's video um i put a little poll and i said y'all wanted story time so i got a story time for y'all so this is the story time about basically how a crazy ex followed me and my friend all the way from arlington to dallas if y'all ain't familiar dallas and arlington is literally like 25 minutes apart from each other and if you're from Texas, you know, you to follow somebody from one city to the next, you really got to be <laughs> eating out of traffic in Dallas. So the bitch was crazy. Like, long story short, she was just bad shit crazy. But let's go ahead and get into it because I know what y'all thinking. Y'all probably thinking it's my ex, but baby, no, 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 no. My crazy ex stories are, are yet to come. Coming soon. But now, this was my friend. This wasn't even my friend's ex. This was somebody, this was a girl my friend was talking to. Mind you, my friend is a guy, so we just gonna call him homeboy. So basically, homeboy was talking to his little his little thing, and his little thing had a little girlfriend. And the little girlfriend was batshit crazy and thought that I was the girl. Like, bitch, how are you this obsessed with her and you don't know how she looks? Because you're mistaking me for her. My homeboy, you know, picked me up like, hey, you want to hang out, blah, blah, blah. I'm actually over here uh, by your area in Arlington. I was going to see what she was on before I head back to the crib. So I'm like, oh, I'm not, I'm not doing nothing. You know, we can hang out. So he like, bet. Basically, I'm going to scoop you whenever um, I leave from all my house, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay, cool. So, you know, I'm waiting on homeboy to come get me at this point. So he comes and get me. We drive to his house. Mind you, I stay in a place called Arlington at this time, which is like 25 minutes from Dallas, where downtown where he was at. So he come and get me or whatever, and we go to downtown to his house. So we pull up to his house. He kind of got this, you know, where you go into the parking garage or whatever like that. So we go into the parking garage. I'm not thinking nothing of it. He like, man, I'm like, wait. He like, why she in her car? I'm like, <laughs> oh, like, who the fuck is in that car? He's talking about this girl. He's talking about her. That's all he said, right? At the time, all he said was her. So I'm like, okay, like, I'm like, she lived here just like you. He was like, nah, she just moved over here. So I'm like, clearly you know her, dude. Like, but you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna poke too much. You just gonna tell me what you wanna tell me. So I'm just like, okay. So we finally get into the house. We chilling. We smoking. We playing Nintendo Switch. We on the game. Like, we doing homeboy, homegirl type stuff. Like, it's none of that. Like, real life, my homeboy, right? So, it got to the point where I was out here. Um, he was like, we could order some food. He was like, I mean, we can just, like, uh, I can take you back to your house, whatever you want to do. I was like, all right, babe, because I am kind of getting sleepy. So, we basically order food. Mind you, I'm over there for a good three, four hours. Keep this in mind, y'all. I'm over there for a good three, four hours. So it's time for me to leave. So I'm like, all right, take take me to the car. Let's go. So we start to get in the car. Why do I see the same girl in the car? And she's still just waiting in the car. So I'm like, now I'm like, my ears is going up. Because at first I was like, when we pulled up, I didn't think it was weird because I thought, you know, I was on your side, bitch. Like, maybe she, you know, people don't just want to immediately go into the house. Maybe she got to get herself together, you know. But I started getting, like, little bits and pieces of the story, which had me thinking, like, why did we ever go into your house in the first place? But anyway, so he like, dang, she's still here. So I'm like, now I'm like, yeah, she's still here. Like, what's really going on? So, y'all, we get in the house, we get in the car to get ready to go to my house, all right? Bitch, why are we in the car? We probably in the car a good 10 minutes before he say, 
I think she following me. I said, who? He's talking about the girl that was in the car, was just waiting in the car when we was in the parking garage at my apartment. I said, oh, the one that you said just moved in? So at this point, nigga, you gonna have to tell me what's going on. He's trying to tell me like all these little bits and pieces about who this girl is and why, you know, at this point, why she's been following us for the past 10 minutes. And I'm like, well, you're going to have to speed it up. And you're going to have to tell me something because at this point, she's following us on the place to where I lay my head. So who is she? So we in the car. He like, bro. So he started doing like dumb shit, like just putting on a blinker, getting in this lane, putting on a blinker, going in this lane to really see like, OK, is she following us? Is she following us? Mind you, we are traveling from Dallas, Texas to Arlington, Texas, a good 25 minutes in between. And the crazy thing is, she's keeping up with us. I think his car was even like a Hemi or something. So she, I don't know what little car she had. She had a, uh, all I know, it was a, a Nissan. I don't know what it was, but all I know is she was, she was right behind us. She was not like, nothing was happening. Like, was it no cars in between us? It was her to the point where that's how he realized like, oh my gosh, she's following us. So I'm like, okay, well, well, let's pull over, like, to see why she's following us. Because I know for a damn sure you're not going to keep going to see if she follows us all the way to 123 My House Lane. That's the part I was like, you going to let her follow us all the way to where I lay my head? Are you stupid? Once she done follow us for a good 10 minutes, I need answers. I need all the answers in the world. I want to figure it out. So who sent you where you come from? So basically, like, as we're, I'm like, hey, pull over. So he pulls over to this, um, off this exit. So we get off the exit and we pull into this Kroger right off the exit, right? So we pull into the Kroger. And her little bow self, we pull, we pull in, park, bam. Basically, like, park up and park beside us and tell us what the fuck you doing, like, you waited us, you saw me walk into his house. You waited for me to come out. Then when we get into the car, you follow us to our destination. So we here. What's up? So we get to the, we get to the, you know, she gets out the car or whatever. And so I roll the window down before she even get out. When we park, I roll the window down like, what's up? Like, why are you following us? She was like, who are you? I said, I'm Taylor. I almost gave her my last name, but I have to remember. She's crazy. She's following us. Don't give her too much information. But I'm sitting here like, what is you on? Like, I'm trying to get home. And I can't go home if you're still following us because you're not going to know where I lay my head. So, what's up? She like, oh, I thought you was so-and-so. Mind you, I, I don't even know who so-and-so is. I'm like, so let me just say Keisha. She was like, oh, bitch, I thought she was Keisha. I look at him. I said, who, who is Keisha? Because mind you, this is my homeboy. He ain't said nothing about Keisha. I ain't never heard about a Keisha. So I'm like, who is Keisha? He like, bro, I was talking to this girl that I worked with, and her girlfriend worked up there too, and they've been making my life a living hell ever since. Bro, I moved up. I, what did he say? He said, I worked at the job. He said, then this girl worked at the job. We start talking. He was like, I tell her where I live. Now she want to move in. He was like, so now the girl live where I live. So basically Keisha had moved into the same apartments that he moved in. Cause they had, they had all worked at the same job too. So I guess she came over and was like, Oh, this nice. How much you, how much you pay over here? Okay. And it's, and it's close to the job. Okay. Bet. And basically little baby moved in the next week. So he was like, basically, like, while I was talking to her, she moved into my apartments. He was like, I didn't know she had a girlfriend at the time. He was like, so she talking to me, got a whole girlfriend. He was like, and then the girlfriend seeing me thinking that, you know, I'm coming over to her house, not knowing I live over here. I'm like, that's some like some shit. Like, and y'all work together. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out, put out where they work, because this is a very key point of the story. They work at the fucking post office. 
Like they work at the post office. So he's sitting here like, yeah, I think I think we can. Uh, I think we we could have we could have lost her if we kept going. If we nigga, y'all work for the fucking post office. Y'all y'all make stops for a living. Y'all drive and make stops for a living. She probably would have followed us until until the end of time. At this point, like, hmm. So not only is this crazy bitch following us, she's your coworker. Oh, and also your neighbor. So I'm just like, bro, you got a lot going on. But at this point, I've kind of feel some way because I'm like, bro, we're friends. Like, you could have told me whenever we was walking into your house. Like, the type of friend I am. Um, if you my friend, I'm bad about it for you. Like, you could honestly say, like, bro, this how weird. She been doing all some weird shit, and I'm like, what's up? And we probably would have been on the thing. But probably good we didn't do that because the little girl was crazy. Real like crazy because you followed us from Dallas to Arlington just to find out you're following the wrong people. So I get out. She basically see I'm not Keisha. And she like, well, where Keisha at? That's what I was like, oh. I said, oh, at this point, my fighting hat is off. Like, I'm my guard is down. I'm like, she literally doesn't want nothing with me. She's strictly looking for Keisha. She want to find who the hell Keisha at. Like, who, who is Keisha? Where Keisha? She just want to know where Keisha at. So, he basically told her, like, bro, I told you I don't talk to Keisha no more. I told her I left that to y'all. I don't know what you own. Blah, 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 blah. You can't keep doing this. At this point, we work together. Like, basically, he's saying, like, this, this can go over, like, both of our heads if you don't stop. Basically, stalking me over this Keisha girl. And little baby... Still didn't see nothing wrong with it. She was just kind of like, well, if I see Keisha in that car, I'm going to be following your ass again. Like, she was on some type of shit like that. And I was just like, oof. Okay. So, yeah. That's pretty much the story time. Um, Yeah, because the craziest part is, nigga, you didn't even tell me nothing about this. So, we just sitting here in the car and you just like, oh, I think somebody following us. You fucking think.